It just goes to show, if you really challenge yourself and try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. No way. Huh. <laughs> That's nuts. I'm going to explain how I pulled off that trick later because it wasn't easy and you need to be really good at snooker before you have any chance of making it work. But the good news is, in this video I have 25 different challenges all designed to help improve your game in different ways. There are 8 categories all with 3 different levels of difficulty going from easy to moderate to advanced. The goal is to complete as many challenges as possible, but even challenges in the same tier will vary in difficulty. And you should only attempt the same challenge three times before moving on, but we're going to start with a category called only reds. For the easy challenge you simply need five reds. Position four of them on the black, pink, blue and brown spot and one halfway in between the brown and blue spot. Here the aim is to pot all five reds in any order without missing. It's probably the easiest challenge on the list, so it's a good one to get ticked off to start off with. For the moderate challenge, you need to line up all 15 reds down the middle of the table and in line with the green and yellow spots. Defeating the grid isn't easy, especially early on when there's a lot of balls that can easily get in your way. This one requires good control of the cue ball. If you have that, then most of the pots shouldn't be too difficult. For the advanced challenge, you need to set up 10 reds in a triangle with the first red on the pink spot. The idea of this is to try and break the reds open with your first shot and then clear all 10 reds. This might not look that difficult, but potting all 10 reds in one go from the position you break off in is probably the most challenging thing on this list, simply because often a lot of the balls will go safe towards the cushion, making things very difficult. This set of challenges is called colour clearance. For the easy challenge, you simply set up all of the colours and clear the table as you would in a game of snooker, from yellow all the way through to black. This is going to be important to get right because it's going to come up towards the end of several of the challenges that all feature later on on this list. For the moderate challenge we're going to attempt to clear the colours in reverse from black all the way through pink, blue, brown, green and yellow. This actually makes it a little bit harder. This is partly because no one ever clears the table in this order, but mostly because blue to brown here is actually very difficult to get right because the yellow and green often get in the way. For the advanced challenge we're back to the ordinary colour clearance, but this time you're not allowed to hit a cushion with a cue ball at any stage. You wouldn't think this would make it too much harder because on a normal colour clearance the cue ball would only hit the cushion once or twice, but for some reason it makes it incredibly challenging if you're not allowed to hit it at all, and I almost got it wrong but recovered it. The next set of challenges is called basic lineups, and the easy challenge is to line up all 21 balls down the table and pop each and every one of them in any order you like. This is a regular practice routine that a lot of players will be used to, but it does do quite well in showing how well you're actually playing, because even advanced players will struggle to make this sometimes if they're not playing well. For the moderate lineup challenge, we're going to position a red in between the pink and black spot, the blue and pink spot, and the brown and blue spot, and attempt to pot a red followed by a colour, and then clear the table. So it seems fairly simple, three reds all followed by colours and then the colour clearance. It's a little bit harder than the last challenge, and that colour clearance from earlier is really going to come in handy here. For the advanced lineup challenge, we're going to position three reds in between the pink and black spot, and one above the pink and one below the black. And then we're going to attempt to clear the table. From this position, it's a little bit harder this time because there's more balls on the table, and they're all down this end, making it more difficult to get up for the yellow and make the clearance again. Our next set of challenges are called black routines, and the easy challenge is to set up one red below the black, one above it, and two either side in line with the yellow and green spots. It really helps your game to be good around the black spot and the next three challenges are going to teach exactly that. Here you need to have good control of the cue ball around the black spot to make this clearance. The moderate challenge is very similar, it's called square. Here you position four reds in and around the black spot in a square formation. 
The two reds on the top cushion are a ball length away from touching. Having two reds on the top cushion that are a little bit closer make it even more challenging because you need to have the right angle on the black twice to be able to get down for these reds and make the clearance. The position here is just a little bit more awkward. Our next challenge is called the line because it forms a line across the pink spot. Starting with a red in line with a green spot, you place two reds behind it a ball width apart and then do the same thing on the other side of the table. You need to pop all of the reds into the top pockets and you're not allowed to cannon into any of the other balls when you play a shot. This makes it one of the hardest challenges on the list. Before we have a go at some more challenges, we're gonna find Kevin from Northampton in the UK, which is about there. The first safety challenge involves placing three reds on the blue, pink and black spot and starting with a cue ball in the D. The aim of this is to get the cue ball back into bulk of all three reds. You have to get the cue ball back into bulk each time and play the shot from wherever the cue ball ends up, which can be tricky as other reds can get in the way after you've played them. The moderate safety challenge is called the black. With the black on its spot, you need to play safe from the D and get the cue ball back into bulk three times. I completely messed this up on my first attempt and left it in because I'm an idiot. This requires three shots back to bulk and you play the cue ball from wherever it ends up. This means you can be playing the cue ball from some tricky positions, so trying to be incredibly accurate with where the cue ball ends up really isn't easy. The advanced safety routine is called cushion. Here you need to line up four reds along the top cushion, two in line with the yellow and green spot, and two halfway between them and the pocket. You play a straight shot from in bulk and try to return the cue ball off all four reds in a row. This is one of the hardest challenges on this list because it's difficult to play thin off the reds when they're tight on the cushion, and it's still the only one on this list I haven't yet completed. The next three challenges are called mock pockets. The easy challenge requires you to place a red over all six pockets and try to pot the balls in under four shots. This means potting multiple balls on the same shot. This may seem difficult, but it's actually quite easy to do if you're good at playing cannons. I got lucky here, so if you're not, just try smashing the ball really hard, and you'll probably get it eventually. The moderate challenge is to block all six pockets with two balls each, touching each other in a direct line with the pocket. Here you need to pop all the balls in nine shots or less, and as you can probably tell, the trick is to screw the cue ball into the reds. I lost count here and assumed I made it easily, but I see I just about made it in exactly nine attempts. The advanced challenge involves the colours being on their spots, but still has all six pockets blocked. This is actually a lot harder than it looks because you have to clear the pockets in order to pot the colours into them. The greater amount of pockets you clear, the easier it gets. I even managed to pot a couple of reds in the same shot on this challenge because why not? It put the yellow safe but I eventually dealt with it. The next set of challenges are called break off but the easy challenge is fairly simple to explain. You just need to play the cue ball from behind the bulk line off the top cushion and get it within a ball length of the bulk cushion. You can choose wherever you want to play this shot from but as long as the cue ball starts behind the bulk line and it's not as easy as you might think. For the moderate challenge you need to play the cue ball from the D around the back of the pack of reds and back into the D again without the cue ball ever coming into contact with any of the balls or a cushion. Oh yeah, and you have to play it in three shots. I mean, obviously you can try and play it in less than that, but that might be a little bit difficult. It does require some good touch, this one. And the advanced challenge is to simply break off, but you must get the cue ball within a ball length of the bolt cushion. It doesn't really matter how you do this. I caught this a bit thin and ended up still getting the cue ball on the bolt cushion, although it was a bit closer to the pocket. Mark Williams' shot definitely doesn't count here as it's gonna be nowhere near the bolt cushion. But before we look at the next lot of challenges, let's just try Matt from Cambridge in the United Kingdom, which is there. The next set of challenges are called advanced routines. We're gonna start off with this cross formation where the two outside reds are again in line with the yellow and green. The idea is to pot all four reds and clear the table just as you would in a game of snooker. 
With all three of the next routines, you're not allowed to kiss into any of the balls you're not actually potting. This just changes the routine, so we don't really want to do that. For the moderate challenge, you need to make this chevron shape, with the reds being in line with the pink spot in the middle pocket, and with the outside red being in line with the black spot in the middle pocket, and them all being evenly spaced. This challenge is tricky because the pink's completely blocked off and it's difficult to go up for the blue. This means you need to get high off the black every single time and if you don't you've got a tricky shot into the middle pocket. The advanced routine is very similar to the moderate one, it just has these two extra reds that make it even harder still. This requires a lot of close control with the cue ball. To get this right, you both need to be potting very consistently and getting the cue ball exactly where you want it. It's not easy, but it can be done. In fact, we could even make it harder, but I want to keep all of these challenges in the same realm of difficulty, so they're not too difficult. And lastly, line the balls up in the middle of the table like this and try to make the biggest break possible. This doesn't really matter if you can't completely clear the table here, it's just a way of showing yourself how much you've improved while you've been practicing these challenges. But what about that trick shot from earlier? How did I get the balls to drop down like that and how did I even stack them up in the first place? So here I've just used some washers so they're stood on top of each other like this. It took a little while to get four stacked on top of each other but eventually I did it. So how did I make the balls drop down completely straight and not fall over? Unfortunately, this trick requires some pretty clever but naff trick photography. I simply played one shot with the four reds and obviously as you'd expect, everything fell down. I played another shot where I just played a normal screw shot on one red and I had three reds stood up like that. So when I'm actually saying, oh, I don't believe what's just happened, there's nothing there and I've just done that off the normal shot. In fact, if you watch close enough, you even see me move position. But who knows, maybe it'll happen for real this time. Oh. Didn't even pop the red. Well, next week we'll probably be doing something with lasers. Genuinely, but until then, if you still want to improve your game, why not have a look at these two videos from this specific series that are designed to do just that. And remember, don't just watch play, and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later!